Subaru has confirmed that their upcoming three-row SUV will be called the Ascent, and that it will feature an all-new turbocharged direct injection boxer engine, just like this concept. Derived directly from the Visif 7 concept which premiered at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show, the Ascent holds on to the Visif 7's dynamic X-Solid design theme, boasting powerful fender flares and a large bluff grille to give it that imposing SUV look. As for the interior, this concept has a flowing dashboard design and a seven-passenger configuration with center captain's chairs. Every surface, aside from the multi-function steering wheel, seems to have touch-sensitive controls, including the door panels, which is a pretty unique feature. We also can't help but notice the floating design of the dual-panel infotainment system, with one gigantic display for the main screen as well as the climate controls. Then there's another, smaller display on top, plus a digital instrument panel. It's unlikely this type of futuristic dashboard will make it into a MY 2018 car, but Subaru would be wise to keep it on ice for future models. The production ascent will be riding on a modified version of Subaru's global platform which the automaker debuted last year, and will be built at Subaru of Indiana, in Lafayette, Indiana. Also important to note is that the Ascent concept is slightly smaller than the Visif 7, measuring 198.8 inches in length, 78.3 inches in width and 72.4 inches in height. Its wheelbase measures 117 inches and the tire size is 275.50 R21. Subaru will sell the production-ready Ascent exclusively in North America starting in 2018. Until then, you can visit the 2017 New York Auto Show in order to see the Ascent concept in person. SUVs are all the rage nowadays and to cash in, Lincoln has just unveiled its all-new full-size SUV, the 2018 Navigator. Set to debut at the New York Auto Show, the new model has been dramatically overhauled and promises to be more luxurious than ever before. For starters, the body of the 2018 Navigator is made from lightweight aluminium, a change which saves almost 200 pounds on its own. Grunt is then provided by a twin turbocharged V6 which Lincoln says will produce around 450 horsepower and be mated to Ford's new 10-speed automatic transmission. The cabin of the Navigator has been completely rethought and pushes the vehicle to the upper echelons of the luxury SUV market. As standard, it comes with three rows of seats and incorporates a unique cargo management system that includes an adjustable shelf behind the rear seats to allow storage to be customized. Elsewhere, the 2018 Navigator has front seats with heating and cooling features that can be adjusted up to 30 different ways. There's also Ford's Sync 3 infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and an available rear seat entertainment system that includes two 10-inch adjustable screens. The Navigator also has a Wi-Fi hotstop that can support 10 mobile devices at a time and if customers want a superb audio experience, a 20-speaker level Ultima system can be ordered. Among some of the other key features are trailer backup assist, a 360-degree camera, adaptive cruise control, an optional heads-up display, six USB ports, four 12-volt power outlets and a 110-volt plug. A wireless phone charger is also available. Jeep's potent Grand Cherokee Trackhawk has premiered at the New York Auto Show and yes, it is absurd. No one really needs an SUV with over 700 horsepower, but Jeep decided to make the vehicle anyway and we're glad they did. Not only does it exemplify the booming demand for high-performance SUVs, but it also pushes the market into uncharted territories and sets the mark very, very high. As you'll well be aware, driving the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is FCA's 6.2-liter supercharged Hellcat V8 engine. 
delivering the same 707 horsepower and 645 pounds to feet of torque as it does in Challenger and Charger guises. The engine is a true bruiser and when mated to the vehicle's all-wheel drive system, helps accelerate the trackhawk from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. The quarter mile then passes in a mere 11.6 seconds at 116 miles per hour. At New York, Jeep decided to unveil the car in a sleek shade of billet silver. Far less overt than the bright red previously shown, the color makes the track walk look more unassuming. If you didn't notice the huge Brembo brakes and Quattale pipes, it could easily pass for a regular Grand Cherokee SRT. U.S. sales of the behemoth will start in the fourth quarter of this year. One of the most important models for Volvo, the all-new 2018 XC60, has made its U.S. debut at the New York Auto Show. The new XC60 benefits not only from Volvo's latest design language, but also from the adoption of their scalable product architecture as well making it the first 60 series model to do so. The US range will be initially limited to two versions, the turbocharged T5 with 250 horsepower and the turbocharged and supercharged T6 with 315 horsepower. Volvo will add the 400 horsepower TA twin engine plug-in hybrid version at a later date. The XC60 is an SUV not designed to look down on others but to drive, said Thomas and Genlath, senior vice president design at Volvo. The exterior has an athletic sculpture with a subtle, timeless quality. The interior is a masterful composition of well-resolved architecture, beautiful materials and the very latest technology, all perfectly blended together. The new Swedish SUV will also come optionally equipped with Pilot Assist, the company's semi-autonomous system that's capable of steering accelerating and braking the vehicle on well-marked roads at speeds up to 80 miles per hour, just like its bigger brothers. The new Volvo XC60 is also equipped with the characteristic portrait-style census infotainment system that features a 9-inch touchscreen display. The Volvo XC60 is an important car for Volvo in the United States, said Lex Kersmakers, senior vice president of the Americas and president and CEO of Volvo Car USA. It provides a new and more athletic attitude to the design language that was first shown in the 90 series cars. Joining the top end 2018 Enclave Avenger at the New York Auto Show today are the standard versions of Buick's new midsize SUV. The base, essence and premium editions of the 2018 Enclave like the Avenger's three-dimensional mesh grille, bespoke 20 wheels and fully loaded interior. However they still pack plenty of clever features that should help them compete in the family SUV segment. Sales of the new model will start in the fall of 2017. Buick will announce pricing and other details later on this year, though if you can't wait to see the car in person, all you have to do is head on over to the New York Auto Show. Buick says that compared to rivals such as the Acura MDX, the new Enclave's third row offers 5.6 extra inches of standard legroom. It also adds that it boasts 4.5 inches more than the Audi Q7 and nearly 3 inches more than the Infiniti QX60, in favor of third row passengers. Every 2018 Buick Enclave model features keyless entry and push-button start, hands-free power programmable liftgate with a Buick Tri-Shield logo illuminating the ground, Tri-Zone automatic climate control, universal remote, six USB ports plus much more is standard. They also come with OnStar 4G LTE, Wi-Fi hotspot and five years of the OnStar basic plan free of charge. Using the infotainment system means operating a frameless a touchscreen display with teen driver, rear seat reminder and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. Powering the new Enclave is a 3.6-liter V6 engine with stop, star technology. Buick estimates that about 302 horses and 260 pounds to feet of torque will be sent to all four wheels with the help of a 9-speed automatic transmission. 
The new generation SUV also has available intelligent AWD with active twin clutch rear differential and a Buick first switchable AWD function that helps improve control and efficiency. As for its 5,000 pounds towing capacity, Buick says you'll be able to easily pull along the typical 21-foot sport boat in the 2018 Enclave. After years of rumors that Genesis would add an SUV to its lineup, Hyundai's in-house luxury brand unveiled the GV80 concept at the New York Auto Show Wednesday. Genesis' trademark crest grille gets filled with diamond mesh, and sits in a contour channel that defines a spine running the length of the SUV. The quad headlights are nothing more than four swept back slits. Along the sides, 23-inch wheels frame a deep vent carved into the bodywork, while the mesh pattern in the five-spoke alloys matches the trussed B and C pillars. In back, thin, fiber optic taillights emphasize width and stylized vents in the lower fascia cool the powertrain. The GV80's advanced plug-in hydrogen fuel cell specs remain a mystery, but it might not be an empty tease. Two years ago, Hyundai showed off the Intrado Compact Cuff concept at the Geneva Motor Show. That compact crossover study boasted a theoretical range of more than 375 miles, powered by a 36-kilowatt lithium-ion battery pack, and Hyundai said the Intrado was far more than a styling exercise. If and when a production Genesis SUV happens, though, we expect a more conventional 5-liter V8 at the front, for the launch, at least. Hyundai PR recently told Reuters we plan to respond to the fast-changing market centered around SUVs by beefing up our SUV lineup, and an unnamed insider said the automaker is considering developing larger SUVs based on its Genesis luxury sedan. However, the report said Hyundai execs are concerned about oil prices, production capacity, and the company's mediocre track record with its large SUVs. Nevertheless, when it comes to a Genesis SUV, odds are we're talking about when it will arrive, not if. Prior to the New York Auto Show opening its doors on Wednesday, Infinity has unveiled the bold QX80 monograph, a new design study previewing the company's next large SUV. Infinity says the QX80 monograph represents the first time the firm's current design language has been applied to a vehicle of this size by mixing geometric and organic shapes onto the QX80's 5-meter long skin. Also measuring over 2 meters high and 2 meters wide. The new QX80 previewed looks much more purposeful and far less bloated than the outgoing model. The dramatic styling changes start at the front fascia where the QX80 monograph is adorned with a reshaped grille and lit headlights and a hood which mercifully ditches the strange drop-off and bludge of the existing QX80 that make it look like a beluga whale on wheels. Elsewhere, Infinity has designed the QX80 monograph with doors that when open, reveal brushed aluminum still steps. There's also vents behind the front wheels which the automaker says can reduce drag by funneling out turbulent air from the wheel arches. Huge 24-inch, chromium black wheels with brushed copper accents are also present. Speaking about the design, Senior Vice President of Global Design at Infinity, Alfonso Albaeza said the QX80 monograph provides the opportunity to reimagine Infinity's signature design DNA on a totally different scale. We sculpted our body pure, straight and horizontal, the muscularity both brute and sensual, part dance thinker, part Michelangelo. Infinity Carazeria used svelte satin copper skin set off by an ultra-powerful double-arch grille with abstract structural mesh, distinctive and focused human eye signature headlamp, and iconic fender vent. Our designers continue to impress by finding new avenues for infinity artistry. Beyond the QX80 concept in question adopting a unique design, Infinity says it is also using it as a step forward in the large SUV segment. It claims that it serves as a private jet for the road and should prove particularly popular in North America and the Middle East. 
the next QX80 will arrive in 2018. Five weeks after celebrating its world debut in Geneva, the Range Rover Veeler has been presented to the public at the New York Auto Show and has a lot of height to live up to. Underpinning the Veeler is the same aluminum architecture as the Jaguar F-Base and it sits between the BMW X4 and X6 in terms of size. Even though it is cheaper than range-topping Range Rover variants, it comes outfitted with a host of impressive technologies, most of which can be found in the cabin. Inside, the Veeler makes use of two 10-inch touch screens with one acting as the infotainment system and the other directly beneath it that controls a plethora of vehicle functions and settings. A 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster is also available and compared to every other Range Rover on the market, the Veeler is easily the most modern, both inside and out. When sales of the Veeler kick off in North America this summer, three engines will be on offer. The first, a liter diesel with 180 horsepower, will be mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. A petrol power 247 horsepower 2 liter turbocharged 4 and 380 horsepower supercharged V6 will also be offered and sold exclusively with the same automatic transmission. The FJ Cruiser may be a thing of the past, but Toyota has revealed a new model in concept form at least, that could take its place. Called the FT4X, the show truck was revealed today at the New York Auto Show. It was designed by Toyota's Kalti Design Research Studio in California to bring some rugged charm to urban millennials looking to escape the city for brief adventures off the proverbial beaten path. Based on the C-segment Toyota new global architecture, it's substantially smaller than the FJ Cruiser, a good 8 inches lower to the ground and 16 inches shorter from nose to tail. But with the wheels pushed further out to the extremities, its wheelbase is only a couple of inches shorter and narrower. In fact it's closer in footprint to the CHR with which it shares its underpinnings. The design approach is decidedly more rugged though, characterized by large X's and throwback nods to Toyota off-roaders of old. Just look at the white roof, wide front grille, and vertical rear quarter glass. Beefy wheel arches and contrasting lower body cladding complete the rugged look. Since tailgating and base camps are typically set up behind the vehicle, a particular emphasis has been placed on the rear end design with a large rear aperture opened with a rotary handle in two ways, split horizontally in urban mode, or upwards in outdoor mode. Described as a four-wheel drive dual box, the FT4X is jam-packed with useful features, from the reflective anchor points on both bumpers and reinforced flat roof to the outlets in the back for powering camping gear and the North Face sleeping bags towed between the front seats. It even has hot and cold boxes inside for warming and cooling food and gear, with interchangeable windows to enable personalization, and a GoPro camera integrated into the side mirror for capturing the action. The cabin space is divided into a clean zone where the front passengers sit, a wet zone around the rear seats, and a rear cargo zone for hauling stuff with a flat floor and sliding tracks in the headliner, where you'll also find flashlights that are removable for use outdoors. Though strictly a concept for the time being, Caldi has clearly designed the FT4X with production in mind, giving it a punchy, low-displacement four-cylinder engine along with mechanical four-wheel drive, selectable low-range transfer gearbox, and a suspension with McPherson struts up front and double wishbones at the back. Even if the Alfa Romeo Stelvio has long passed its new car status, its presence at the 2017 New York Auto Show cannot be ignored. Developed under the FCA umbrella and benefiting from Ferrari's know-how and performance engines, the Italian crossover will cross paths with Mercedes-AMG's new GLC 63. And it has the power to do so, as with the Quadrifoglio badge comes a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 engine which is shared with the range-topping version of the Giulia. It continues to develop 505 horsepower and 443 pounds-feet of torque, 
which translates into a 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 3.9 seconds, and a top speed of 177 miles per hour. If you want something tamer, the base Stelvio model has you covered. It comes in two flavors, the Stelvio and Stelvio T, sporting a more down-to-earth 2-liter turboed 4-banger with 280 horsepower and 306 pounds to feet of torque. All-wheel drive is standard on all versions sold in the USA.